authority that prevails. Mark chapter 11 verses 22 and 23. So Jesus answered and said to them, Have faith in God. For assuredly I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, Be removed and be cast into the sea and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that those things he says will be done, he will have whatever he says. With this week, we've been talking about exercising our spiritual authority, what God has given to us in the realm of the Spirit, and using that in our world, in our natural realm. Part of this uh, exercising that authority is to dominate situations and circumstances. Jesus put it like this. He said, if you have faith, you can tell the mountain to move. So this is authority given to us, which is exercised by faith in God, which can move mountains. Uh, it can calm storms, as we saw, uh, as we see in the Gospels, where uh, when Jesus and his disciples were in the middle of the storm, Jesus arises and he rebukes the wind and the waves and he calms the storm. So this is authority that prevails over the circumstances and the situations and the dynamics of things happening around us. This is authority by which we can move mountains and calm storms. This is authority by which we can push open closed doors. This is authority by which we can bring in the kingdom of God and prevail and dominate circumstances and situations in our lives. So how do we exercise this? When you run into a situation where things are going contrary to what you know is God's will and God's way and God's plan for your life, you and I, we need to rise up to dominate, to prevail over that situation by faith in God and by exercising authority. So we may speak words into that situation. We say, in Jesus' name, I command this situation to be changed. In Jesus' name, I command this door to be opened. In Jesus' name, I command this mountain to move out of the way, this hindrance to get out of the way. In Jesus' name, I command the storm to calm down or I command this confusion to cease or I command uh, the evil work of the enemy in this situation to stop. So we prevail over circumstances using the authority God has given to us by having faith in our heart and speaking forth words of faith, words of authority into circumstances and situations. So the next time you come into a situation, remember you are here to dominate it. You're here to prevail over it. Exercise your authority to prevail over circumstances and situations. Don't just take it, overcome it, prevail over it, dominate it. That's the reason God has given you that authority to glorify His name by dominating those circumstances and situations. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for the authority you vested in us by giving us the right to the use of the name of Jesus, by putting faith in our hearts, by giving us your word, by making us part of your kingdom. I pray that each one of us will exercise, make use of the authority you've given to us in everyday life to bless lives, to glorify your name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.